So my guy best friend of five years um, basically confessed his love for me today. I don't know how to feel. I feel really awkward. I have known this guy. We met in math class in college and we like were best friends and then he got engaged and then we kind of went our separate ways and then his fiance cheated on him and so then we like rekindled and stuff and we've just been like hanging out and like goofing around and going like ice skating and fishing just doing like fun stuff and we both know like at least I knew that it wasn't anything romantic between us we were just like homies we would talk about our exes like just just we were just best friends <laughs> So he texted me today and he's like, hey, like, do you want to get dinner? And I was like, sure. Like, I didn't think twice about it. I was like, sure. Like, yeah. And he takes me to like a nice restaurant. And then we like start talking for a little bit. And he's like, hey, like, I want to find a girl just like you. And he's like, you are everything like I want in my future wife. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, don't do this to me. I was like, don't do this to me. I was like, don't do this to me right now. Like, I wasn't even prepared for this nice dinner. I'm wearing like a hoodie. And I was like, okay. And I looked him in the eye awkwardly. And I was just like, you're going to find that girl. Like, you're going to find the girl of your dreams. Like, I'm excited to see who you end up with. I didn't know what to say. And now I'm at home and I feel really awkward because I feel like I lost a friend. Like, I... I just don't know how to act with him anymore because I just felt super chill and super calm because <laughs> I like knew we wouldn't be anything and I'm not interested in dating anyone and so I thought we were just homies and I felt really comfortable and like I just felt like I could always go to him for like support and now that he said he <sighs> that's my day I went to Target at least and got some Starbucks, and I ended up hanging out with my best friend who confessed his love for me. <laughs> what up, team? Another beautiful day, and some more malarkey here on TikTok. As you can see, this is a young lady coming online to embarrass her friend of five years who finally confessed his love for her. I've said this, I don't know how many times I've said this, but I keep on saying it for the people in the back that don't hear, that are hard of hearing, that don't listen to me when I said that men and women cannot be friends. There's always somebody that's gonna catch feelings. Either it's gonna be the girl, or it's gonna be the guy, but more likely than not, it's gonna be the guy that falls for the girl and the girl's gonna end up rejecting you. I mean, to do it on such a grand scale too, to do it on TikTok where there's a chance of you going viral and that's this guy who has been your friend for five years is now gonna get an onslaught of abuse. <laughs> you imagine being that guy who, who finally, after five years, have worked up the courage to let this lady that you probably slowly fell in love with over a five year period, finally let her know how you feel for her to re not only to reject you, right? Because we always say to ourselves, what's the worst that can happen? She can only say no, right? Not only does she reject this man, she has gone online and put the story online. I'm sure they're going to be part of her friend groups who put two and two together, right? She put this thing online and it went viral. <laughs> and here I am, right, talking about it because it has gone viral. And now I'm sure this guy is probably humiliated to the nth degree, right? And I'm telling you, it's just it's just not in your best interest to be friends with the women. Um, I used to do this, man. I used to do this, and I'm not I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm immune to it. You know, a lot of times we're friends with people who are very attractive. You know, I've never I've never met a girl that I would consider a friend of mine uh, that was super attractive. You know, there's always a hidden agenda, and I'm guilty of this, man. You know, because you think. You think she'll come around and you think she'll feel she'll feel the same way you feel and eventually, you know, uh, she'll start getting feelings. But no, 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 no. 
she'll literally see you as a friend and she will use you for all the boyfriend um, benefits. Going out, getting dressed up, going to fancy restaurants, going to, you know, chill out. She'll vent to you. She'll use you as a therapist. You know what? Other guys are blowing her back out. <laughs> it's just, listen, man, use this as an example, fellas. This is just, it's not the way to do it. It's not the way to go. It's never going to end well. You know, and just think, there's some girl that can humiliate you online in front of millions of people. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Like Drake said, don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> but anyways, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this lady putting her friend on blast? What do you think about her her friend finally working up the courage to profess his love to her in probably a, a romantic way? He probably thought he was doing something good. Poor guy, man. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. See you guys on the next one. Oops. Oh, don't forget to drop a like for your boy. Peace out. <laughs>